maybe they shouldn't even have had an NFT, NFL team in Las Vegas. That's what I wanted to say. I mean, but that's where all of the money is, just, especially with the gambling and all of that now. It just seemed like it's setting them up for failure. They're already not the smartest people. <laughs> Look at Rita with the stereotypes. She said they're well, already not well, the smartest I mean, people. If you think about it, okay, think about our own school. Like, even in high school, mm -hmm. the athletes got to do what they wanted to do. Even though they had to have a certain grade point average to play, the teachers wasn't um, abiding by that. They was letting them do what they wanted to do. They wasn't coming I to agree. class half the time. And then a lot of them don't even make it to college. So their education is very limited. You know what's so funny? It reminds me of people that we went to school with. And um, Kojak can attest to this too. It's some dudes that was on a football team that was very good. And now they're doing life. One of our friends, uh, Raiders cornerback, rookie cornerback, first year in the league, ladies and gentlemen. Really good dude. What's wrong with the Los Angeles Raiders? Coach is getting fired. Henry Ruggs III was out there crashing into people. Then you got uh, the young Nate Hobbs over here, and he was arrested in Las Vegas on a DUI charge. But it wasn't just any old DUI charge. He was deciding to fumble the bag, and it was in the most incredible way possible. Okay? So my man, uh, Nate Hobbs, uh, decided that he wanted to participate in the victim Olympics. All right. And Nate, ladies and gentlemen, Nate, ladies and gentlemen, let, let me go through it. This is just a quick hit. This is just a quick hit. So Nate, ladies and gentlemen, um, was arrested in Las Vegas on a charge of driving under the influence early, mo uh, early Monday. Right. And, the Las Vegas confirmed the arrest. Las Vegas police confirmed the arrest. But check this out. Uh, Raiders head coach Rich told reporters during his weekly news conference on Monday that Hobbs was involved in an incident and that the team was still gathering information. The Raiders also released a statement Monday afternoon. The Raiders are aware of the incident involving Nate Hobbs. The organization has been in communication with local law enforcement. Sounds like either a suspension <laughs> ban or a release to me. Hmm. And is in the process of gathering more information. We will have no further comment at this time, but check it out. Let me tell, let me tell y'all how he got caught up. This is, this is the crazy part. He was detained on a Las Vegas strip. The arrest took place hours, hours after the Raiders home win over the Indianapolis Colts, this young man that you see right here in my upper uh, right hand corner, this young man that you see in my upper right hand corner that's having a good time, Raiders rookie, cornerback, absolutely dedicated to his craft, spent his entire life working and trying to get to the NFL. We talking about getting comfortable, ladies and gentlemen, right? Check it out. Hours after they home win over the Indianapolis Colts on Sunday afternoon, the police, per different sources, the police responded to calls that Hobbs was asleep at the wheel of his car around 4 a.m. on an exit ramp at the Cromwell Hotel. Now, you know where the Cromwell, Cromwell is? It's over there by the Flamingo and all of that, like right in the mm -hmm. middle of the strip, mm -hmm. literally right across from the Bellagio. I usually stay at the Bellagio. He was asleep on the exit ramp, drunk at the Cromwell Hotel, right on the strip, right on the strip. Why not? Listen, somebody told me when Henry Ruggs III was out there driving drunk that the NFL literally pays for transportation for you to get home. Free Ubers, the whole nine yards. Even if they didn't, they have their own money to afford an Uber. I'm just amazed. I'm amazed. So he was asleep at the wheel of his car at 4 a.m. on a parking lot exit ramp at the Cromwell Hotel. Obviously, the Cromwell is located at a high profile corner on the Las Vegas Strip near the Bellagio and Caesars Palace in Paris, right mm -hmm. in the middle of the strip. The best real estate on the strip. Police made contact, detained him, booked him into the Clark County Detention Center. Oh, freaky Jason at 6.38 a.m. Mm. Freaky Jason. Rebuke jail. Rebook bookings. <laughs> <laughs> Rebook bookings. Rebuke, Rebuke bookings. bookings. <laughs> After he failed field sobriety tests, Las Vegas police said in a statement, approximately at 4.09 a.m. 
the dispatch received a call reference a driver asleep inside of a vehicle which was parked on the exit ramp on the 3500 block of South Las Vegas Boulevard. Arriving officers made contact with the driver identified as 22 year old Nathan Hobbs. <laughs> 22 year old. Huh? 22-year-old, uh, y'all got to see the article yourself. I'm going to share this article with y'all. 22-year-old Nathan Hobbs, oh my God, was giving given field sobriety tests by patrol and failed. He was transported to basically the jail and was booked for a DUI. Hobbs, 22, Hobbs, 22, was a fifth round pick out of Illinois in April's NFL draft, played 15 of the Raiders 16 game this season, including nine as a starter. He was winning. He was winning all the way across the board, recorded four tackles and a quarterback hit on Sundays, went over the Colts. He was he doing his thing out there. Yeah, yeah, get it, fam. Raiders have a critical matchup against, maybe they shouldn't, hold on, hold on. Maybe they shouldn't even have had an NF, NFL team in Las Vegas. That's what I wanted to say. I mean, but that's where all of the money is, just, especially with the gambling and all of that now. It just seemed like it's setting him up for failure. They already not the smartest people. <laughs> Look at Rita with the stereotypes. She said they well, already not well, the smartest I mean, people. If you think about it, okay, think about our own school. Like even in high school, mm -hmm. the athletes got to do what they wanted to do, even though they had to have a certain grade point average to play. The teachers wasn't um, abiding by that. They was letting them do what they wanted to do. They wasn't coming to I class agree. half the time. And then a lot of them don't even make it to college. So their education is very limited. You know what's so funny? It reminds me of people that we went to school with. And um, Kojak can attest to this too. It's some dudes that was on the football team that was very good. And now they're doing life. They're doing mm -hmm. life. Some people that went That's to true. certain colleges... And got kicked out of school, never even made it to the league. We thought that they was going to be absolute monsters. Mm -hmm. hmm. mm -hmm. Marcus says, um, hey, Anton, I still haven't heard back from you in regards to my seat at the table. Marcus said he wanted. it. You think we should get Marcus a seat at the table? Of course. Write Marcus down. We're going to get Marcus a seat at the table. I missed your call originally, called you back, emailed you, but no response. Well, will I hear back from you? Marcus said, I'm going to super chat and I want a seat at the table. <laughs> Hey, you Marcus, make your request let me known. tell you about Marcus. Marcus sent his guy over to kick it with me and was like, yo, uh, and Marcus said that you didn't give him that seat at the table. <laughs> Shout out to Marcus. All right, we're going to get you in, fam. Philip says, uh, get my call today, starting the year off right. You do. You are on the calendar, and I cannot wait to talk to you, Philip. Uh, look at Marcus. He sent another one. He said, I'm about to hop on a Zoom call. So if I don't respond to you on this live, you know why. Side note, hi, Rita. Hello, hi, Rita. Marcus. Let me get to the rest of this story really quickly. All right. I got to I got to get done with uh with my boy, Mr. Hobbs. Hobbs arrest arrives two months. Told you about these Las Vegas dudes mm -hmm. after former Raiders wide receiver Henry Ruggs. The third was charged with DUI resulting in death for his alleged involvement in a fatal Las Vegas collision at that claimed the life of 20 year, 23 year old Tina Tentor and her dog. And you know, they don't play with them dogs. They yo. don't. Flex <laughs> Appeal do says not much chat interaction today, but always listening. Uh, we It's okay if you're not chatting today. I know you in the building on my second gig on two hours of sleep and off to the third one after 1.30. All grind, no fumbling, no victim Olympics. Love y'all, fam. See, a lot of my wow. people, they got to pull back. A lot of my people, they got to pull back. They not just like, they don't run in the victim Olympics at all. But yeah, man, it's pretty crazy um, to think that this young man right here, uh, Mr. Nate Hobbs, Decided that he wanted to fumble the bag and not do what he was supposed to do. Not secure the bag. 